Hello, Wastelanders. It is I, Big Papa J. And I'm fixing to head over to Diamond City and see if I can't take on a quest from the Bounty Hunters Guild. I want to do that. Just for a little relaxation today. I don't want to dive into any more quest mods or the main storyline or anything of that nature. I just want to go blow some shit up. You ever have one of them days, you know? Just one of them days when you just want to go blow some shit up. And that's what I'm going to do, so... I could have took a quest from Jonah. What the hell? I could have took a quest from Jonah, but I think I want to get it from the, uh, The Bounty Guild organization. And if I have time, depending on how long it takes me. Nope. Nope, no problem. Big Papa can handle himself. I'm pretty good with a gun. If I have time, because like I said, I'd have to keep my videos around the 30 minute mark, even though sometimes they do run over. I had one, but was 50 minutes a couple days ago, a few days ago, whatever. But I try to keep them around the 30 minute mark. But if I have time after I do this quest, I might look into doing one for Jonah, but we'll see. Depends on how close you are to that 30 minute mark. And here we go. Okay. Nobody's in jail this time. Last time I came down here, there was that lady in jail, remember? Nobody's in here this time. Well, hello. <clears throat> How can I help you? I'm looking for a job. Got any work? Let me take a look. You're gonna stand here and look at me, or you're gonna go take a look. I know I'm a handsome devil, and you would really like to hook up with me, wouldn't you? Yeah, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, wow. All right, what, what do we got? I don't know, you tell me. What do we got? You tell me. You got something? Uh, you in my space? Okay, I've got something available if you're interested. It's a simple kill contract. Your target goes by the name of Lefty. Last we heard, he somehow made it inside Parsons Insane Asylum. I should warn you, this won't be an easy contract to fulfill. You'll need to get in the good graces of a mercenary group, led by the ghoul named Edward Deacon. In order to get Lefty, you'll need to somehow meet this ghoul and convince him to let you into the asylum. This contract has some added risks, so we'll pay out double the standard rate for successful completion. Do you accept? Yeah, not quite what I wanted. But yes, I'll take it. I don't mind danger, so long as I get paid well enough, I'll do it. Great. Happy hunting. So, Bounty killed Lefty at the Parsons and Stain Asylum. Now the problem is... I'm gonna have to do Jack Colbert. I got, I'm gonna have to hook up with Jack Colbert in order to do that. Which means... There's like two or three places where you can find Jack Colbert. Um, one of them is Good Neighbor, down in the third rail. Uh, one of them is Bunker Hill. And there's another place, but I can't remember quite where it is. But about the man at a time, Vault Dweller wakes up after 200 years. So, um, Kill Lefty. Find and kill Lefty. Now, in order to get into the Insane Asylum, this is going to be an ongoing quest. So this one's not going to be one I can just do right now. It's going to take me a little while. So I tell you what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to Good. Got too I'm, much dirt in that hair? I'm going to head. I'm going to go ahead and head over to Good Neighbor. In fact, I actually have a quest for Good Neighbor. Let me see. Where is it at? Um. Um, no, no, 
holding out for node that's hardly Korean nail like a good neighbor access to like a good neighbor hard cave and inventory and complete the missions on it you know what I'm just gonna go to good neighbor and see if um, that dude that I need to talk to is down in the third rail but that's where he hangs out at. He hangs out down in the third rail a lot of times. And if he's not there, then I could make my way over toward Bunker Hill and see if he's over there. But I'm not going to run. I'm not going to track him down all over town. If I can't find him, I'll just go talk to Jonah and see if Jonah's got any quests for me at the moment. Because I'm not going to run him all over town. I need to do the first quest for her, but I don't want to do that today. Let me see, do I have any map, map markers over near, um, over near Good Neighbor? Do I have anything yet? Um, cause right here is Good Neighbor. I guess the closest thing I have is this Park Street Station. But well, that'll get me close. That'll get me in the area of Good Neighbor. I like the fact that I don't have the entire map uncovered yet. That means I still have to explore. And my game style, the way I like to play is I don't like to fast travel. I'm doing it for you guys just to help keep the ball rolling for you guys. But generally speaking, I don't like the fast travel. Is good neighbor down this way? I think it is. I think good neighbors right around this corner up here. Yeah, there's good neighbor. There's good neighbor. Perfect. A lot of dead bodies laying around here. I guess it wouldn't hurt for me to pick up the loot. I mean, I'm already in the area, you know. Might as well pick up the loot. Just gonna go to waste otherwise, as, as Piper would say. Just gonna go to waste otherwise. But let's jump into Good Neighbor. Every time I come into Good Neighbor, I get a, like a little buzzing sound. I don't know what it is, but it, it always does that. Who, who are these people? Hey, hold up there. First time in Good Neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. Um, I'm gonna kill you. You know that, right? Well, well hey, all right. We'll just say your insurance is paid up for now, okay? And problem solved. Hey, worth gain. So this is where you guys ran off to when I told you to get lost. You came here, the good neighbor. Interesting. I was always curious where they run off to. Because when I tell them to get lost, they take off running. But I've never knew exactly where they went. Now I do. Interesting. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, I like you already. Walk into a new place, make a show of dominance. Nice. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah, I feel you. Good. You stay cool, and you'll be part of the neighborhood. So long as you remember who's in charge. I forgot I still got that bloody hat on. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna take it off. I wore it for a little bit for kicks and grins, but I kind of like this character without the hat. 
Okay, um, let me see. I'm gonna go this way because I wanna go down into the third rail. I'm looking for the dude that introduces me to Jack Colbert. So let's go into the third rail and see if he's down here. Hello, Ham. How are you doing, bud? Hancock says newcomers are welcome in the third rail. Go good on, to man. good to know, Ham. Okay. Now, is my dude down here? Yes, he is. Perfect. You there. We need to have a conversation. Yes, I was looking for you. So let's hear it. Okay, let's hear it. I'm always looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous situations. From what I hear, you may fit the bill. Pay hey, better be good. To feel like a stranger Cause we're all a little strange Uh, what happened? You will be well paid. I can promise you that. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me, but you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. I'll let him know you're coming. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so that gets that ball rolling. Say I'm surprised to find you in a dump like this, McCready. I was wondering how long it would take your bloodhounds to track me down, Winlock. It's been almost three months. Don't tell me you're getting rusty. Should we take this outside? It ain't like that. I'm just here to deliver a message. In case you forgot, I left the gunners for good. Yeah, I heard. But you're still taking jobs in the Commonwealth. That isn't going to work for us. I don't take orders from you. Not anymore. So why don't you take your girlfriend and walk out of here while you still can? What? Winlock, tell me we don't have to listen to this shit. Listen up, McCready. The only reason we haven't filled your body full of bullets is that we don't want a war with Good Neighbor. See, we respect other people's boundaries. We know how to play the game. It's something you never learned. Glad to have disappointed you. <laughs> you can play the tough guy all you want. But if we hear you're still operating inside gunner territory, all bets are off. You got that? You finished? Yeah. We're finished. Come on, Barnes. That was all about... Can I talk to McCready? Hey. Look, pal. If you're preaching about the Atom or looking for a friend, you've got the wrong guy. If you need a hired gun, then maybe we can talk. I'm a hired gun. I was looking to see if you needed to hire me. I'm interested, if you think you've got what it takes. You're joking, right? I've been doing this since I was a kid. I know my way around. I used to run with the gunners, for God's sake. Sound like you can handle yourself, but I worry about those Sounds guys. like you can handle yourself, but I worry about those guys throwing a wrench in the works. If you're worried about Winlock and Barnes, don't be. They couldn't kill a squirrel with a rocket launcher. Now what about you? How do I know I won't end up with a bullet in my back? You ever heard of Gun for Hire? Um, I'm the most badass in the, that walks in this land. All I can give you is my word. And a bunch of caps. Bunch of caps, huh? Okay, Hotshot. Price is 250 caps. Up front. There's no room for bargaining. Everything's negotiable. Everything's negotiable. Would you take 200? You drive a hard bargain. But you just bought yourself an extra gun. All right, boss. Let's get out of here. Okay, now I got him as a companion. Now, I'm gonna actually dismiss him if I can. But I knew I could get him hey, as a companion. What's up? <clears throat> what do you want? I, I want think you. it's about time we called it quits. I think you're making a huge mistake, but hey, it's your funeral. 
If you change your mind, you know where to find me. Yes, I'll find you at my office. Go, go to my office. Okay, so he's now my companion. He'll be waiting for me at my office. I'm gathering all my companions. I don't have Kellogg at my office anymore. He's not a standard companion in the game. So I actually sent Kellogg over to um, Fallon's department store to hang out with Harley and all of them because I found out that I cannot send them to my gun for hire. So I'll just let Kellogg hang out with them. Hey everyone, gather around. Let's kick the breeze back. Shoot the fat. Now I the only people I want at my main gun for hire shop are actual people I can hire or work with that are vanilla. Okay, let's go talk, talk to Jack Abbott. Was that, was that his name? Jack Abbott? Colbert? Jack Colbert? Jack Colbert, I think. Maybe, yeah, Jack Colbert. Let's go talk to him. Anyways, so that's where I'm heading. So, this is going to be a little bit of a drawled out process. It's not going to be no quick jump in, quick kill, jump in and get out. It looks like I'm going to have to do a couple of the um, vanilla quests that are related to the game directly. Um, special delivery, so I can turn this off for now. And I'm going to have to work my way up. I'm going to have to work my way up to getting that kill done for, for crime and punishment. Which is how it is sometimes. Please. Get that now. <laughs> Hey, in all defense, they attacked me. I didn't attack them. Hey, it's the gunners, though, so it is what it is. It is what it is. Okay, still trying to make my way over here to... Jack Colbert's house. Gotta make my way over here to Jack Colbert. Ooh, a zombie. Let me in. Edward Deegan asked me to come here. Oh, it's you. Good. Come on in. Okay, here we go. Come on. I'm always Let's worried. Boss. I'm always worried when I come here because the robots outside have a tendency to attack you. And if you aggro them, he aggroes, and then it just turns into a big bloodbath, and you can't do this quest, so I, I hate coming here. Okay. Let's get on with it. Or sounds good. Sounds good. Jack, the new guy is here. One moment, one moment. You just have to... He'll be right with us. Oh, damn. Clearly, I'll need to adjust the mixture. Hello, hello. Welcome to Cabot House. I'm Jack Cabot. Pleased to meet you, Jack. And I am very pleased to meet you. Edward finds it tiresome. But I always like to know personally everyone who works for me. Please, have a seat. How about a drink? Edward. 
The good bourbon, eh? Bourbon, you say? The good bourbon. I'll have a Jack and Coke. Now, before we get down to business, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time Don't for... interrupt, Edward. The question is this. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? Uh, yeah. Are you talking about aliens? UFOs and little green men? No, no. That's all popular hysteria. I doubt any of it has any basis in fact. I'm talking about the hidden history of our planet. The very origins of human civilization. Ancient powers that modern science, even at its pinnacle, could barely begin to comprehend. You think aliens created human civilization? Yes, if by alien you mean a non-human precursor to the commonly understood founding cultures. Sumer, Egypt, Assyria. My father excavated a city in the Rub al Khali in Arabia, which he dated to more than 4,000 years before the rise of any known human civilization. The structures and artifacts were strange, disturbing even. Clearly not constructed for or by humans. I've spent my life trying to decipher what he uncovered. Jack, can I tell him what I need him to do? I'm sorry, Edward. I just get carried away sometimes. You're sending him to look for the missing shipment? Yeah. Well then, I'd better leave you to it. We'll talk more about this some other time, when things are less rushed. It isn't important now. Welcome to the family. Okay. You're officially hired. Congratulations. Now, last time I did this, I did it with the Singanera mod. I'm ready to get to work. Good. As a Good vampire. Job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. Jack owns a facility north of the city. There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? Nope. Sounds like something I do every day. You haven't told me half of what I need to know. Keep your shirt on. I'm getting to it. You should start at Parson State Insane Asylum. Don't let the name spook you. It's just a secure building that we're using. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. She can point you in the right direction. You all set then? Yep. I'll see you when I get back. Yep. I'll see you soon with the package. Good luck. Don't get killed on your first job. <laughs> Danger is my middle name. Oh, mighty. So... So now we can make our way up towards there, but I still can't get in yet. I don't think I can actually get in there until like the third or fourth mission. Because I just got to go there, and then I'm going to go do a few other things. Because I've already done Jack uh, um, Cole, but I've done him quite a bit. So this is nothing, technically nothing new. I don't know if that robot is friendly or foe. Legendary Sentinel bot. I would say he's enemy because he was red. Even though he didn't attack me. I guarantee he probably would have when I come walking by. Exterminator board, whatever that is. Okay. Well, got some more ammo. That's always a good thing. Got some more ammo. Okay, I don't... Ooh, I took radiation from that. Serious radiation. You know what? Let's go ahead and access... You there. Caravan or Raider? I'm here on my own. What are you talking about? I'm here on my own. Freelance, huh? Alright. Come on in, but no gunfire. 
Market's open. You can do as much trading as you like. Okay. So I've discovered Bunker Hill. Not that it matters, but I've discovered Bunker Hill. Slowly, boy, there's a lot of warfare going on. I am still haven't found Ada yet. Hopefully, eventually, I will. I will stumble across Ada. Maybe on my way up here to Parkins, uh, insane asylum. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll finally stumble across Ada. You get across the. Need to get across this 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 place. Oh, let's have a fall to gunfire. Man, there's a massive war going on back behind me. You guys mind not blowing up the place? I'm trying to get across. The... Of course, that could have been me. <laughs> that may have been me. I may have been the one that caused that. I'm trying to get across this bloody bridge, though. Okay. I'm going to continue down another explosion. Holy shit. There's explosions going on everywhere. Explosions everywhere. Brotherhood. Don't need a fight with the Brotherhood. Place. National Guard. Got some zombies in the National Guard. Hey, not nice. That was not nice. I didn't do nothing to you. I'm just walking by, minding my own bloody business. Hey, why in the hell is the National Guard shooting at me? Is it under gunner control or something? Bloody place is turning to a bloody war zone. Shut up. Nothing I like better than to shoot you.
Can't bloody see. I'm blinded by whatever the hell these things are. Can't couldn't bloody see squat. Now I'm all lost and turn around. Sideways, backwards, I don't know where in the hell I'm at. I'm totally bloody lost. Still trying to make my way up here to this um, insane asylum. I would like to at least make it there before before I stop for this episode. I would like to try to get there. I've kind of gave up looking for Ava, Ada. I'll find her one of these days. I think there she is right there. Right up there, I think. Get off of me, guy. Wow. Holy cow. No, that's not Ada. I think that may have been the stalkers that are on my tail. That was Harry. I'm not having a good day today. I'm going swimming. Going swimming. I'm not trying to find a way around the long way. I'm just going to take the shortcut. Looks like this is where I need to be anyways. Got a bloody war zone going on back behind me. Bloody war zone. Whew. Holy crap. Hey, I made it. Okay, where's the lady I need to talk to? There she is, right there. I need to talk to this lady. First, I guess we need to clear out the... Uh, the rest of the zombies. Good riddance. Hey, is that everybody? This place is off limits. You'd best move along. Edward said you might know where to start looking for the package that went missing. Oh, you're the new guy. So this package, pretty sure we know where it is. The guys that shot Ben are holed up in the Parsons Creamery, just north of here. Okay. So you've just been waiting for me to show up to do something about those assholes. As far as I remember, I don't answer to you. And yeah, we were waiting for you. That's your job. To deal with unexpected problems that come up. My job is to make sure nobody gets into this place. Okay. That's true. Edward wouldn't have hired me if he thought you could have done the job. You're throwing a lot of attitude for the new guy. <laughs> Guess we'll see soon enough if you're just blowing smoke or not. I don't blow smoke, lady. I'm the real deal. 
And with that, <laughs> I killed your bug problem. I'm going to park it right here. And when we return, we will continue onward, I guess it's further up north, and see if we can secure this package. I'm having to do this quest line in order to do my crime and punishment bounty for the bounty hunters guild so everything kind of ties in together and with that being said this is big papa j hoping you have a good day or night depending on what it is where you are i'm out of here